The Toro 60 volt flex flex volt snowblower. Just purchased this at uh, Home Depot. Real awesome snowblower, lots of power. But what this video is about is an upgrade that I did that almost made me not buy this snowblower from the beginning. What you could see right now is the chute deflection rod that's supposed to be right here. The problem was when I first seen this in the store and I tried it out was that the rod is way down here and to turn it you have to bend over this bar and it's not conveniently placed like right up here like there's the other electric snow blowers like the the Ego or the uh, I don't know there's uh, Snow Joe <clears throat> they've got the quick shoot right here joystick but the problem with those ones I find that I read some reviews that the cable sometimes freezes up with ice and snow and it's inoperable so I think that's why Toro went this this route with this uh, you know manual shoot down here I think it's a good idea but I just don't like the way they placed it way down here the bar is too short <clears throat> so what I did was I got the uh, bar which this is the bar right here and what I did was I'll place it right here this is after I did my work on it it only sat about maybe about 16 inches long or so 16 to 18 inches long right about there but what I did was I chopped it in half I got some 5 16 uh, you know round stock went to Home Depot for that also <clears throat> and I added 11 inches onto it you can add more you can do less depending on what's comfortable for you for your like arms length so I wanted it probably right about here so it was down here so I added what I needed which was about 11 inches now I'm wondering why didn't they do that from the beginning did Tor do that well I kind of uh, think is because now this rod it's so long now maybe it wouldn't fit in the box and they'd have to make bigger boxes I don't know could be a number of things but now when I put it in this rod right here deflector rod So it slides right in. See now where it stands is up here, way more comfortable. See it's right here instead of way down here where it was. So I don't have to bend over anymore. Now I could just go like this. It's a lot easier, no bending. But the one problem is, is in order to take it out see now I have to tighten these wing nuts here back up you can, it doesn't slide out because it will hit the top of this thing but that's no big deal and every time I want to take it out I just undo these wing nuts a bit and it'll slide right out um, another problem another thing is when I do tighten them up turning like this turning like this your el your el your elbow will hit this a little bit so maybe that's why they had it going way down here I don't know but but I you could, you could easily turn your hand like that instead of going like that so you'll see but so much better like this so like this like this so what I did was anyway I got I added 5 16th rod from here to here that's about 11 inches long so what I did was I TIG welded it not everybody has a TIG welder I mean maybe everybody has a friend that knows how to weld you could just take it to them and uh, they'll you know buy them some beer a case of beer whatever whatever maybe they'll do it for free but I have a TIG welder here so what I did was I TIG welded this and this but you, one thing you gotta make sure that when you TIG weld it see this how it's straight up it has to be you see there's a notch at the end of this thing 
that's got to be straight up too. So, so the joystick will, you know, be up and it won't be to the side, you know. So you want it to go be vertical. So, but other than that, I think it's a great upgrade. It worked. It works awesome for me, and uh, just waiting for the next snowfall. But uh, also, when you're TIG welding it, make sure to take these this plastic cover off. There's two screws here. Just undo those two screws and take it off so it doesn't melt because when you weld it, it will get hot. And make sure when you make the cut, do it above this because it goes right through this. Like There's like a little hole here. You don't want to do it through there because it won't fit because... I put a little extra steel on here just to make it a little bit stronger. And right here, I put a chamfer around it to kind of fill in the hole and to give it some extra beef in there. But, <clears throat> I mean, and then what I did at the end, just so it doesn't rest, I spray painted it black. Looks pretty good. So, all in all, you know, it's uh, all the way up here now instead of way down here which was a big hassle, you know, like, I mean, when you're snowing and then, you know, you're snow blowing and you want to, ha you have to bend over every time to do that. I don't know. Some people won't even be able to reach that. I was like, if you're like much shorter than I am, I'm like five, seven and which is not that tall, but I mean, you know, I reached it, but I mean, it was, it was a hassle, but this will be so much easier. But other than that, I think the snowblower rocks. It's very powerful. I had a, a other single stage snowblower, a battery power. I mean, uh, gas powered, and this thing throws the snow just as far, if not farther. I lo I love it. And uh, other than that, that's about it. <clears throat> I mean, I think this thing is awesome now because I don't have to bend over and it works perfect. And uh, that's it. But. Let me hear your thoughts. If you have any other upgrades you think should be done, maybe I'll try it out. Okay, talk to you soon. Take care.